five gunshots just six. Run off down the valley, so Fingers crossed that lawn is here shortly. Have a cup of tea. I won't make her walk, you know, get straight into another big walk. I'll, I'll let her have a little breather. Be generous like that, you know. Stag was making his way up. Uh, I think he knew just as well that this gap was here, and if he got to here, he'd cut our wind. Uh, so we made our way quite quickly across there, got to the corner. Uh, I let rip, and there was a hind about 20 metres in front of me that I hadn't seen. <coughs> I wanted to see him pop his head up and bolt. And, uh, Everyone bugged out after that. You can hear them in the distance, but old mate's not roaring at us anymore. That was pretty exciting though, that was pretty cool. Uh, that's the first time we personally, I've decided right that we're doing this. So. Well, that's a <clears throat> that was exciting. Um, man, who knows why he was coming. It was like, just I was just making atrocious noises out of my mouth. It's ruining my voice box too. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, after listening to them last night, I swear one was mooing like a dairy cow. Uh, and <laughs> just all the, one sounded like it was like howling like a wolf. I, I came to grips with the fact that as long as you make a loud roaring noise, they don't seem to care what sort of noise it is. I'm sure they probably do, but doesn't seem like they're that fussy around here, so uh, we're going to make our way back to camp now. We're done. There's nothing in the first basin, and we've blown out everything in the second basin. And uh, have some of that yummy real meals chocolate pudding, and uh, get a night's sleep and get back at it in the morning. Uh, fly into it. Hopefully there is deer plenty. Uh, yeah, sign out, suckers.
captain's log day 107 it feels like my back is a little sore I'm a little bit tired this morning uh, running out of water as per usual so the camelback got left behind because it's empty no water uh they let him rip down the valley so uh, i think after last night's efforts we're going to pop back in the uh, set up again glass uh, area it's a little bit later uh, timings didn't work out so well this morning um but uh, the wind is in our favor we'll be able to scoot along the back get into a glass component hopefully uh see shitloads of deer it's quite a guttural war this is a yeah man uh this morning i suppose is but this is our last hunt for this trip back to uh, civilization this afternoon but this trip has been super exciting i uh i can't wait to delay many other plans in the next few weeks to go hunting uh yeah feeling a little bit like uh, everything's down the bottom of the valley so but we've got so yeah so this morning hasn't worked out to be what I thought it might be I was having a conversation with someone the other day and we were discussing how maybe this spot isn't the best for hunting in the mornings uh, because we sure do have some excitement in the evenings around here. And that is something. I think what we're seeing right now is that this is a group of animals that are under a bit of pressure uh, from hunters at the moment. And they know that um, that the tops are not a safe place for them to be. And to be quite honest, uh, with, with the amount of walking I've done in the last couple of days, my legs, uh, I think are just getting a little bit unwilling to uh, get down the bottom into that valley and really have a trudge around there. I can hear them down there. I'm not the best bush stalker. I'm probably somewhere around about the worst bush stalker there is. I'm not very quiet and I'm a bit clumsy and and now that I'm getting tired those things are, are accentuated. Um, but I've also chucked another day on. So this is the first two night hunt for me uh, which has been interesting. Um, yeah, but I am feeling the, the additional fatigue from an extra day of doing this uh, now. So, perhaps in the wrap up, there's something that can be said about that. Is, uh, as your fitness improves and you feel like you can go further, you just push yourself further, you just push yourself harder, and then you just feel just as fucked the whole time. Like it's. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't feel like I've arrived to the hunting grounds any fitter than I would have any other time. Just pushed harder getting here. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this. 
hit like if you have. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done that. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Walk Before You Hunt New Zealand. Uh, lots of the stuff that happens behind the scenes usually ends up in the Instagram and things like that. The, uh, the YouTube is the polished version, of course. And, uh, and, and never listen out for Spotify. Hopefully has and has Bedaz and I can get together this week and, and, and have a chat. And, and there's a few other people that I want to have a chat with shortly, so things are looking good there. Uh, yeah, but, but thank you for joining us. Uh, still no harvest, but man, oh, man, I'm having fun. Last night was the most fun so far, so yeah. Spock out.